at every step of the process, there are opportunities for Folsom and heavy Toyo pumping equipment, mill circuit floor and storage tank floor sumps, overflow from pump boxes, flotation cells, storage tanks, and floor washdown all find their way into floor sumps. These sump pumps play an essential role in returning spilled product back to the process or storage tanks. Without these pumps, movement by operators around the mill circuit would be difficult and dangerous. Typically, the usual suspects in the mill circuit floor and storage tank floor sump pumps are Weir Gallagher and Ash pumps, as well as Mezzo Sala. But there is no better choice for sump pumping than a heavy Toyo pump. These pumps usually outperform the competitor's mean time between failure by a factor of 10 to 1. In a mill sump environment, a pump must be designed to pump high percentage abrasive slurries with ease. Heavy Toyo sump pumps boast essential agitation which lifts settled solids up and out of the sump. The heavy Toyo sump pump is a true cantilever design, which means there's nothing mechanical to go wrong below the base plate. Designed with large diameter shafts that can be more than double the competition, these pumps are built to perform in tough environments. All this coupled with the ability to choose from a number of precision wet ends makes this a perfect pump choice. Groundwater pumps, which are typically vertical borehole pumps, these pumps play an important role as they provide fresh makeup water for the various mine systems, as well as potable water for drinking. Firewater pumps. Many remote mines require their staff to live in camps which must have fire protection. This comes in the form of electric and diesel driven pumps. Gland water pumps for seal flush water. These are essential pumps to ensure that cool water is provided to large mill circuit slurry pump seals. Mill circuit slurry pumps. These are used to transport crushed ore around the grinding and recovery circuits and to pump the waste tailings out to the tailings ponds. The mill circuit pumps can be lined or unlined and are manufactured using special wear resistant alloys as well as different elastomers for finer slurries. The wear components on these pumps would usually last months rather than years due to the highly abrasive products that they pump. These are the true workhorses of the ore recovery process. Reclaim water pumps and barges. When tailing pumps send the waste product out to the tailing storage facility, the solids settle to the bottom of the pond and the water that is left gets pumped back to the mill for use in the recovery circuit again. This water is usually required in very large volumes and is often pumped from barge mounted pumps. Chemical pumps. The precious metal recovery process uses many chemicals to recover the ore. In order to pump the chemicals safely, we use sealless pumps wherever possible. These allow us to move toxic chemicals safely between different processes. Dust suppression pumps. Mining is a dusty, dirty business and dust suppression is done in two ways. One is to use water trucks and the other is to use water spray lines to dampen the areas where dust is most prevalent. Mine fueling pumps. Pumps are required to pump large quantities of fuel to dispensers from bulk storage tanks. Turbine pumps mounted in the fuel tanks can be used for clear diesel and gasoline but for the dyed diesel that is used in the larger dump trucks and shovels, a fuel pump infiltration skid is often required. Folsom Industrial can provide every single pump used in modern day mining and can also design pumping systems to ensure that you get the very best from the pumps when they are put into operation. Whatever the application is, Folsom Industrial will be pleased to help you select the right pump for the job. Give us a call today and let us help you get the best service from your pumps.